to be living going forward in 2022 i want to mention to all my viewers out there that i have decided to just going to speak english in my cooking videos and i'm hoping that making this adjustment it's not going to be an issue with any of my monk viewers so today in my kitchen here i'm very excited i'm going to share with you one of my signature recipes that has been liked by many friends families and my community it can be served as an appetizer or a dessert and in english we simply just call it coconut sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves and this is a lao dish so in the lao language it is called kautong that means boiled rice and in the Hmong language, it is called Duo Tso Fu. So ingredients here I have in this bowl, eight cups of sticky rice. I use the apple brand sticky rice. The rice here needs to be soaked at least three to four hours or overnight. I use one pan 14 ounce coconut milk and one pan 14 ounce water. However, with today's cooking, I'm going to substitute using 14 ounce uh, pendant juice instead of the water because I like the cakes to have a light greenish color and also the pendant juice adds fragrance to the uh, dessert as well. But if you do not have any access to pendant juice, just use water would be just fine. In this bowl, I have two cups of sugar one teaspoon salt some thai bananas if you don't have any access to thai bananas don't worry about it just use the regular ban bananas will be just fine finally some banana leaves i will include a video clip into these cooking videos how to prepare banana leaves before using to wrap foods or cook with foods this is how I prepare banana leaves to make the coconut sticky rice cake. I use the frozen banana leaves and my recipe, if you use four packages of frozen banana leaves, it should be enough. Cutting the pieces, if you want to make the cake a larger size, you want to cut the banana leaves a larger, but if you want to make it smaller than cut it smaller. I usually cut them on the average size about this. Okay. To boil the banana leaves, you want to use a big pot and bring the water to boil. And then uh, take a few of the banana leaves here and then drop it into the pot. There are two benefits in boiling the banana leaves. Benefit one, as I mentioned earlier, these banana leaves are from international and uh, I think boiling the banana leaves that helps to sanitize the uh, leaves. Uh, benefit number two, by boiling the leaves, when you wrap the leaves with the uh, sticky rice, then that prevents a uh, cracking of the leaves. So those are a uh, good benefits in boiling the leaves. Use my tongue to grab a whole bunch and then thrift it. Make sure you leave the heat on so that the water continues to boil throughout the process of boiling the banana leaves. Okay. Grabbing and then just turn it over like this okay again grab by the bunch put it in my tray here make sure you remember to leave the heat on so that the water remains boiling throughout the process of uh, boiling the banana leaves from beginning to the end The final step in preparing the banana leaves is to dry each piece at a time with paper towel wiping both sides. Here I set a piece of kitchen cloth on the counter 
to help absorb the water as I lay the banana leaf onto it. There are some white stain staining to the banana leaf and if you wonder if the stain can be removed, um, I don't think the stain can be removed, but since I already sanitized the leaves by boiling it, I feel uh, comfortable and safe using the leaves to wrap whichever kind of food that I am preparing and the stains here they do not stain the food that you wrap inside the banana leaf. So it is okay. <laughs> to soak the sticky rice, I just use room temperature water and then let the water run into the bowl and wash the rice with the water a few times like this. And then drain out the rice water. I like to wash my rice a couple times to drain it out before I let it uh, soak. This is the second time I wash. Again, just wash it with room temperature water, not hot water. You don't need to do it with hot water. Pour out the rice water the second time. And then, okay, room temperature. And then the third time here, you want to make sure that you have a lot of water, about, I would say, two inches more than the rice. Water should be two inches more in the bowl than the rice. And then let the rice sit on the counter and soak it for three to four hours before we're going to steam the rice. So just let it sit here. To begin making the coconut sticky rice cakes, I first need to make the uh, sugar syrup and coconut syrup first. So this is the one can uh, in a small pot. Pour the one can coconut milk in here. Okay, I'm going to add uh, one can of pandan juice. Okay, this is the one can of pendant juice. Okay. The one teaspoon salt. The two cup sugar pour in here. Then turn on the heat. I'm going to cook all the ingredients in the pot until I felt from the a spoon here that the sugar and salt have been melted then that should be good I do not need to bring the water to boil I don't need it to boil mmm the pandan juice smells so good from the pot it smells so good I could feel from the spoon that both the sugar and the salt have been melted and so I'm going to turn off the heat and let the syrup here remain in the pot to let it cool until after I steam the rice and we will use it then. To steam the rice, I spray the steamer with some pan so that the rice does not stick to the bottom of the steamer. And then drain the rice water. Pour it into the steamer. Steaming rice, you always want to bring water to boil so that it cooks faster and it does not slow down the process. So always bring the water to boil before you set the steamer onto the pot. And then I like to 
leave it in the bowl to drain all the water out of the steam before set it onto the pot to steam. Yeah, just like this, set it here until it's all drained. The water in the pot is boiling, and so I'm going to set the steamer with the rice onto it. We're going to cook the rice for 20 minutes so that it's fully cooked. So set the clock for 20 minutes. Rice is cooked. All done, and then I pour it into this bowl. Next, I'm adding the pendant leaf sugar syrup with coconut here onto the rice. And then stir it, mix the rice with the syrup until it's well mixed. And I'm going to set it aside for a few minutes to let the rice absorb with the um, sugar syrup flavor before I wrap it in the banana leaves. So, ooh, smells so good, so yum already. Gently stir the mixture together until you feel that there's no more liquid. I am going to set it aside for a few minutes to let the rice absorb the flavor and then I will start wrapping. So let's let it rest for a few minutes. While the rice is still cooking, I am preparing the bananas, cutting them into pieces, getting it ready. For a banana this size, I usually just cut them half and then half here, and then another half. So banana this size, about eight pieces. Okay, the rice and uh, sugar syrup have all been absorbed to each other, so then it's ready to wrap. To wrap the cake, cutting off both edges of the banana leaf, like this. Again, trimming off both edges of the banana leaves that gives a better presentation of the sticky rice cakes. So this is my style. I always wrap my banana cakes this style using just one big piece of banana leaf. But everybody wraps it differently according to what they like. And then make a line in the middle, put a piece of banana inside, fix the rice around it, okay. take the edge here, fold it over gently, okay. and then when you fold it over gently, your fingers, you want to push in, push in the rice, okay. fold it again. It again okay and then I'm going to trim this off using my thumb and finger at the bottom I'm going to push gently push up the rice okay and then trim off the excess leaf turn the other way again use my thumb and finger to gently push up the rice and then fold it and then trim off the axis of the leaf. I like to lay down right on the chalkboard and gently even out the cake like this. Okay. And then set it on to the steamer this way, pressing the folding part. And then I'm going to demonstrate the other way that most people wrap their 
uh, sticky rice cakes. Okay. But the other way uses two pieces of leaves, the big one and then a small piece. The rice in the middle, make the line, put in the banana, and then fix the rice here. Okay, bring up both sides of the leaf, okay, and then you're going to fold it down once, like this, and then fold it down twice. Okay, fold it down once. Fold it on twice against the rice here and then I'm going to fold it the bottom to help secure okay and then I'm going to on the top pinch in the middle of the leaf and then fold it down okay come back to the other end same thing in the middle I want to pinch the leaf this gives a style to the uh, cake so pinch the leaf and then fold it down okay. so this is a style that I would say most people wrapping their uh, sticky rice cakes in like this. You see pleats at both ends. Okay. We set into the steamer. I'm all done wrapping the coconut sticky rice cakes. Just waiting for the water in the pot to boil and I'm going to take it outside to steam for 30 minutes. To steam the rice cake, you must bring the water to boil. Set the steamer onto the pot. Okay, and then cover it. Cover. Okay. Cover, and I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and then it should be fully cooked. Okay, 30 minutes. It's up and it's all done steaming here. We're steaming it in the garage and I apologize. It's cold outside in Minnesota. I have a very old garage floor, so don't mind. Okay, we are going to put it here on this stool. I'm going to let it rest here for an hour or so to let it cool before we will have the final taste of this very very delicious coconut sticky rice cakes okay. here it is it's all done coconut sticky rice cakes wrapped in banana leaves so let's enjoy okay. let's unpeel one so excited. Okay. Let's. Okay. Usually, uh, this is another way of serving this a sticky rice cake as an appetizer or dessert. You can just peel it after it's all done like this. This is being completely cool from the steamer and just serve them in a platter and everyone will just grab one or two at their preference and unpeel the banana leaves and enjoy like this. Just like this, okay? Mm. Mm. Now so good from the tendon juice and then it's so soft with a creamy 
sweet flavor from the coconut sugar. It's sticky. And then notice the banana that I put inside. When you take a bite of the banana, when you take a bite of the banana, you'll also taste the sweet from the banana. Hmm. So good. So delicious. Ooh. So good. Hmm. There's the banana that I put inside. Very yummy. Thank you all so much for watching me living today, making the very delicious coconut sticky rice cakes or lao kotong mong yotsa We'll see you next time. Goodbye.